As some of you may know, I started off doing YouTube as a beauty guru. You have no idea how much I despise the term guru, but that was kind of like the term that YouTube gave to any of the influencers that did beauty. It's been almost 11 years since I started YouTube. I haven't done any beauty videos in forever, but today's video is gonna be about my makeup essentials. Shameless plug, my It's Judy Time bag available at Walgreens. If you're to purchase it now, they do a gift with purchase on the website. I'm not sure if they're doing it on store right now, but I just checked online and there is a gift with purchase. It's a double zipper. You can fit a lot of makeup in here. I just threw in my essentials, so there's not that much. And then the other compartment, you can hold your brushes. And there's a protective sleeve on top, so your brushes aren't gonna get ruined. Let's start off with a classic, okay? <laughs> it's so fugly and messy. Um, but this is like my cult fave back in the day I don't know if it is still like the buzz now, but the wet and wild ultimate brow kit It's well loved and well used. So this one's supposed to be like a clear gel to kind of set the hairs I never use this. I just use these two is what I use for my brows. I'm not a brow expert Avi. This is a product I always go back to and I like using different brow stuff But like sometimes I'll use Anastasia's brow definer is great. This is so good It has a spoolie connected to it. The other one I like is makeup forever the aqua brow. It's waterproof This is great too, but with those two it takes a little more precision and time and for the times that I just want a guaranteed quick brow this is my go-to and that's why it's been in my makeup bag for years and years and years I think this one's literally five years old don't judge me it just goes on my brows and then over it I set it with just Maybelline great lash this is another classic come on when it has a neon green that's when you know it's back in the day and it's still around so I set it with this and my all-time favorite mascara covergirl lash blast volume if you're Asian and you have those teeny tiny cute little ask lashes yeah this is for you girlfriend okay it has tiny little bristles that are perfect for my tiny little lash hairs my lashes are so short that sometimes like they go down straight and they just want to rub up against my lower lash line and then it causes that smudging this doesn't do that because I get the waterproof the only downside to this is that you really need a waterproof makeup remover so if you don't use that but you still like the small bristles I highly recommend benefits roller lash mascara this is great too it doesn't smudge at least on me and again it has the tiny bristles next is my favorite bronzer I also use it as a contour powder but this is my favorite of all time Bonk. Last time my drugstore had physician's formula on a crazy sale, I bought all of them. So I still have this. I don't even know if they still sell this. The Bronze Booster in shade, uh, there's two shades. There's like light to medium. This is medium to dark. I like it because it's not too orange. It's not too cool. It doesn't have that gray cast that some bronzers or contour powders have and it's easily blendable so this is my go-to I feel like you can't put too much or if you did it just looks like you have a glow so next oh my gosh concealer Maybelline's what new I didn't is this new the instant age rewind concealer I'm not sure why it says new because I feel like I've been getting this for like eight years <laughs> it's nice because they have I think like six different shades I use shade medium so I like to put this under my eyes to kind of brighten it up and I also use it as a shadow primer I love the consistency it's not too sticky it doesn't crease it's all around a great concealer and it's drugstore so next is this is one of my favorite blushes in fact I don't know if they still sell it I'm sure Mally would have something very very similar but this is the Mally Beauty Blush in Georgia Peach. Such a pretty everyday shade. It's not too flashy, it's not too bright. So I like to put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. I blend it out with the um, bronzer. Pretty! It's pretty and glowy and it looks like a healthy glow that looks somewhat natural. Next is one of my favorite lip glosses. I feel that this is so underrated. This is the Sephora Pump Effect in color outrageous. Ooh, it's made in Italy. It is a lip plumper. I don't know if you can tell, but it actually fills into the lines of your lips. I need to get more colors. This is like the nude color. 
You know, actually, I'm just gonna put this on by itself because I did put a lip liner earlier. This by itself is beautiful. I've never seen a lip brush like this where it's contoured, where it holds a product in the middle so it distributes evenly when you apply it onto your lips. It feels comfortable, it's not too sticky, and like I said, that minty, vigorating feel on your lips. It's like the cherry on top. For lip liner, this one I've only known for under a year, but this one is so awesome. Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner, and this is in shade Nude Medium. It's pretty innovative because when you twist it, it sharpens itself. But I love it because it really is smudge proof. So we're gonna compare it to the drugstore. Up here I have Smashbox, and then down below I have the Flower Beauty um, Lip Liner. They pretty much apply on the same. It feels smooth, easy, to apply, it glides nicely, but here's the difference. Once it sets, you kinda see which one will fade and which one will stay put. So, as you can see, Smashbox is the winner. So it, it does cost a little more, actually a lot more, but it does a trick. And last but not least, this is the eyeliner from The Bomb. And I'll tell you, it's pretty hard to find a solid black eyeliner, a solid black matte eyeliner that has no shine. It's the deepest, darkest black you can find out there. It has like that felt brush that's not too flimsy. It is so black. I don't know what I'm trying to draw here on my arm dries quickly. Um, it's not waterproof, so don't plan on jumping in a pool with this because it will smudge like cray. And you can find these at Walgreens. So that's it for my beauty favorites. Please thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys later. Bye!